Time for Division 2 of the CSC Challenger Series, folks. And boy, do we have another good one for you. The two Tylers take stage tonight as Tyler Weehy takes on Tyler Hensey. William Stewart, Sean Green, Nick DeShera. Here we go, Sean. What do you have to say? Hey, man, I am just excited for this matchup. The Tylers are going to battle it out. Number one in average versus number two in average. We got... Uh, Henzi from Little Falls, Minnesota. We got Weehee from St. Uh, Joseph's, Missouri. And uh, it's going to be a good one, bud. I'm I'm excited. I don't think that this could be a better matchup for Division 1B uh, than we're going to see tonight. 1B is is correct because uh, these guys have quite the averages. Uh, we'll, we'll go over them here in just a second. And they'd, they'd fare well in Division 1, let alone Division 2, as yep. they're riding high here in this one. Yeah, they might still be in Division One right now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I mean that 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 is the truth. It could be hanging <laughs> hanging strong in in there if we if we if we're honest. So how about we go go to the tail of tape here? Let's waste no time. Let's go with Tyler Hensey to start us off here, as he's known as Han Solo, as we found out. Well, the unfortunate way from you to end the stream Monday night. Location is Rustic <laughs> Saloon. Been playing for four years. That's that's it, folks. Just four years. He's rocking a well, he's five 19. point. Yeah, right. He's rocking a 5.06 NPR, 78.4 win rate. And he's got uh, throwing at Heroes Black Knights, 18 grams. And just a couple more mentionable, 16 nine marks, 38 seven marks, four white horses. He's had 37 games played, 29 wins is where he goes overall. So pretty good mentionables there for Tyler. Yeah, I mean, listen, he's the favorite tonight. Um and it's because it's a point two, they're the two highest in average, but it's still a point two two difference uh, in the average there, which is quite extreme when you think about the averages coming into the season. Uh, there was a point two two six, I believe, was the difference between overall. So um, Henzi's going to be the favorite coming into this. He's been in the CSC before. He's made a deep run in Division Two before. Um, so I'm expecting big things out of him tonight. Uh, hopefully, he has his headphones in. He's ready to go. Yeah, I, I expect the same. Let's go ahead and take it on over to Tyler Weehy. Sean, take stage. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to call him the underdog tonight, but we've seen underdogs win many a time before. Uh, he's playing out of Bill's Pub uh, in St. Joseph's, uh, Missouri. He's been playing for six years, so a little bit longer than Tyler, but not really. A 4.84 MPR with a 59.2% win rate. He's throwing the Loxley Jules Van Dong in 19 gram darts. And uh, some other men mentionables for you, uh, 24 nine marks, uh, 64 seven marks, 81 five marks, um, and that's 46 games played. So he has 12 more games played, and uh, man, it, I, it's going to be a great battle. I'm telling you right now, uh, if it becomes kind of a dogfight, he might have the advantage here just because he's played in dogfights so far, but if Henzi starts out on fire like we've seen him do every single time uh this one might go henzy and it might be a little bit more extended of a victory yeah you're right there and that's the ultimate factor here and we're gonna go ahead and go tail the tape here for tyler Weehy. round one shane watson nine six win 4.93 average there for him round two austin braswell nine seven 4.72 npr round three josh crissini nine six 4.89 NPR there. Now, the opposite, Tyler Hensey, round one, Hunter Van Beek, 9-0, 529 NPR. Ken Rip, round two, 9-4, 4.74. That was in person, folks. That was neck yep. and neck. Round three, Johnny Lackey, 9-3, 522 average for Tyler. So you can see there two big performances for Tyler in that 529, that 522, and also some – he hasn't really even – People haven't been close to him, this this yep. CSC, at all. Yeah, I mean, and that's honestly the truth, and it's why I'm going to pick Tyler Henze. Uh, I think he starts off about what he wants to uh, in a 5-2 lead, and I think he wins this thing 9-5. Um, however, I'm going to throw in a caveat. If we, he keeps it close for the first seven, eight legs, and it's 4-4, four, 5-4, four, in that type of range, then I think Weehy might have the advantage going into the end of this thing. It's a little cop out for Sean, but folks, but, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I think that this is gonna be a little bit tighter than we than we anticipate. I know that Tyler Hensey has the advantage. We're giving him the subtle advantage. 
But we is no slouch. He's been able to capitalize in a couple iffy situations and, and came out on top. So I've got this one going Hensy's way, 9-7. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens or not. How about a 9 mark? Nope. Oh, seven. he almost started off with it. Now we've had uh, 24 9 marks for Tyler, 16 for uh, – sorry, I guess i got to do this. We <laughs> uh 24 9 marks, 16 for Hensy. I'm going to go he with also has those over- four white horses. Yes, exactly. I'm going to go ahead and do the over under for this match on uh, let's do 14 and a half, nine marks. I think we can get there. That was my hands before you said that. I had 14. Uh, 14. I, I think there. I like 14, so I and like a half. 14 and a half. I like that. I think that's a good yeah. number. I think it's a good number this evening. We'll see what happens, folks. But Hensy's got a little bit of an advantage, if you can call it that. And this is against the throw early. Yeah, definitely an, an advantage now is we, he's going to miss his opportunity to get out front and kind of gives one of those, well, eh, that kind of, wish I had that one back. Now, this is also a situation where you have two different speeds playing against each other. Uh, Henzi throws a little bit more rapid fire. Uh, you can see we, he is a little bit more um, patient yeah. in his take back and in his, uh, in his deliberateness at the dart or at the line. So, um, I don't think it really matters a whole lot remotely unless it's like an extremely slow dart player, um, which that's not what Tyler Weehy is because um, the switching and everything just kind of slows it down anyway from what it typically would be. But yeah, I, just something interesting to throw into, just throw into the mix. And uh, if you've never watched before, let's go over the format and specific rules for the CSU Challenger Series. It's a double elimination style tournament. Both these guys are still on the winner side. The winner will play uh, against Mike Scarborough for the king seat. And uh, the loser will go to that fifth, sixth place uh, area of the bracket. But the players play a race to nine, best of 17 legs, all cricket with a cork or three dart count up to start the match, which we saw Tyler Weehy win, which is why he's going first right now. If the loser of the previous leg will start the next leg after that, and if either player is down three or more legs, they will continue to go first until that deficit is reduced to two legs. That is the PPD player advantage rule. And if we go the distance, we're going for speed. Players will cork for start in the last league decider as Tyler Henze with a big seven at a big moment. Yeah, that not was a quite big regains one. all of it, but we, he's got was, some options. That was a big one there. It could uh, potentially be a clutch moment here. We'll find out as uh, we went for the close there early in this one. And Tyler, oh, oh no, going left and right. Yeah, I got to take and a step for those back that, here. There are going to be those of you that are going to ask. Um, we do not have access to the camera package that is at the Rustic Saloon, so that is why we have uh, just the one viewpoint from Bills uh, this evening. Still working on getting camera packages to everywhere in our in our uh, player programs, but uh, that one's going to be a little bit more difficult than. People imagine, but we've, we've, we've got a, quite the list of bars that would, we have uh, we have uh, camera packages at now. I was going to say, um, it, I believe it's Tyler Hensey is the only player that we have streamed that has not had a camera package this entire season in either Division One or Division Two. Is that correct? Uh, I, I could not tell you there, bud. That is correct. So wow. there you go. Um uh, so there's a little fun fact for you. Hey, guys, tonight A to Z Darts is sponsoring a live stream giveaway, and it's a bit different than our normal Division 2. Tonight's raffle winner will receive a shot flight deck with the color white. So you choose from the short, in-between, or medium-length options for your prize. Um, what? Yeah, shot flight deck. That is the uh, one-piece system that shot has. So Love it. So best well, of luck to all of our live out. stream viewers. Yeah, try that out. Hat trick for Henzie. That molded system has just become the hit thing in the past year. No mm-hmm. doubt about it. K-Flex and the, sh- the flight deck and the fusion and so on and so forth. What are we going to have Tyler next? Weehy leaving no doubt in this one so far. We'll throw in a 5-0 compared to Henzi's 3.88. Definitely performing well here early. And that's why you pointed right there, folks. He's up now 35 points, so he can take a look at the bowl. 
Fanny's going to. Yeah, it'll just close this out or try to. Needs the start to ensure the victory in leg number one. He does that 4.80 for Tyler Weehy against the 3.89 of Tyler Hensey. So that's going to – we haven't seen a th- leg in the threes from Tyler Hensey in months. Well, well it's not always going to go your way, and I'm sure he's starting to, feel, still, starting to feel a little bit of pressure come his way. I'm, sh- I'm sure about that one. But we'll see if he says pressure. What pressure? Is he going to put it in a nine here? You got to start yeah, messing twice that up. It. Yeah, yeah, you just jinxed it twice now. Stop it, Tyler. Hit what I say you're going to hit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are only a few days left to take advantage of the dart, the March dart of the month and enter the special A to Z darts raffle. All customers that buy a set of the Target Hema darts will automatically be entered into the special raffle to win a set of Target, Target Bull-Eyed Void darts. The raffle ends April 1st, and the winner gets their choice of soft tip 18 grams or steel tip 22 grams. Best of luck to all of our viewers. And... Hey, show your appreciation for Women's History Month by shopping A to Z Darts' collection of women and darts. There are also two new launches to browse for all new dart designs, including the Stowbunts version 2 darts, the Shot AI launch, and the Dart World launch. If you're planning on attending the U.S. Darts Masters this year in New York City, like Will and I are, read the new A to Z travel guide with tips on how to plan for your trip. Just click the banners on their website. Women's History Month, speaking of that, uh, who's the first PDC Women's World Champion? Do you know? But, wait, what? He was like the first, the first P- PDC was Women's first? World Champion. Yeah. <clears throat> That's not a thing, is it? Who was the first PDC Women's World Champion? And I'm just telling you, I don't think that that's ever been a PDC award that has been given away, is it? There's been numerous Lakeside World Champions. Well, folks, let them know in the chat if you've got the answer. Franny's got it. Uh, Stace, well, I mean, I would have guessed Stacy. I mean, I would have thought it actually happened. Oh, brother. This guy sucks. When did that go away? When did that go away? What was it? It was only one year. It was 2010. Okay. So, uh, all right. One year. Yeah. It was. You guys acting like it's it's happened for forever. <laughs> but you should know that as a darts commentator, you should know that, Sean. Just say, all right, Hinsey looking promising for this leg here. Yeah, they it just I think the reason why it didn't succeed is they tried to put it in with the men's world championship and the and the standard was just a little bit off than than what it could have been and Couple missed doubles opportunities and those stack up on you. That that'll happen, but uh, yeah, it was still it was still cool. I thought it was I thought it was neat. Well, it's awesome. That, also, awesome that an American's the one that's won it. Exactly. All right, Tyler Weehy. Gonna get yeah, that we'll point see. lead, but probably not gonna be enough. One bull, one treble. Let's move on to the next leg. All right, let's make it difficult, Tyler. There we go. Four five seven defeats a four three three in leg number two. Yet to see Darren a nine yet. In the chat. Yeah, yeah, we have not nine. seen one. Yeah, that's interesting. Seen lots of sevens that were ruined on the last start because you jinxed them. Don't talk about it, Sean. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> All right, so we get getting started here in leg at number three. One one score line. So far, not the dominant display that we've seen out of Hensy, but we know from past experience that that gear can just turn real quick for a dart player and then next thing you know the pedal is just on the floor green springs ohio what's up rick brennan nolan in florida guys let's know where you're tuning in from we got patrick baker and on youtube from ormond beach florida
Um, listen here, fourth place finisher in Virginia Beach, uh, Michael Walters. Um, congratulations on that. Uh, that's what your profile picture is of, is you top four. But um, it's not, it's Weehy and Henzy. Not not important. <laughs> that's not even like first loser. Yeah. Tied for second exactly. loser. He takes advantage of the uh, 20s here over the 18s. Will he go back? He stays. Wait, did we miss a nine? That's what I think we did. I think we definitely missed a nine. I was about to say, I think I saw the nine happen there. And well, boom and goes the said dynamite. Nothing. See, we're good. The, 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 the counter didn't pop up. I was like, that was definitely a nine. See what happens. Yeah, we were all listening to ourselves, which is not good. Never a good sign. But we got one. And he moving to the 17s. Good seven. What a tasty little leg here, though. Five, 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 two, five. We taking his opportunities at the seventeen. Close the door with a seven. Well, it's gonna count as a six, but it still is gonna be enough to move on to that next number. Tyler's just not finding the treble on the first dart, and I think that that's. Such a huge advantage for most of these most of these players is that first start's going right where they're they're aiming, and then they can just bang right off of it. See, we he aborted the mission off the first start. And he's a line stepper, gets those fifteens. He does a little do si do. He'll slide to the right. He'll slide to the left. Works for him. Works for him. And how about the? Uh... The setup and the throw from Weehee here, I mean, pretty. It's very, very Martin Schindler. I, yes. I was mentioned last uh, 100%. time was on the stream. A hundred percent. That's exactly what it is. That's what I was thinking. And very straight, very uh, upright. Not and a lot a 5. of movement other than the arm. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. He gets the first and third leg. Hensy with the start here. And this is more like it. Except for that last little guy. I'm not going to worry about that last little guy. Early on in this bad boy, guys, tell us who you have in this one. Sean Green, Will Stewart. Nick Durachi Deshera, live. I'm in Indiana. Will's in some state I can't remember ever. And uh, Nick is in Davenport, Florida. I'm just kidding. Will's in Kansas. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite from Tyler Henze. They've got one apiece now. And how about another? Need to follow? Oh. Could have been back to back, but instead it's a good seven mark, but not really enough. I love all the let's go, Tyler. Ryan Clark watching from the Airbnb in Tennessee. What part of Tennessee in? Is it Gatlinburg? Pigeon Forge? Nashville? Oh my gosh, here we go. Every st every city in Tennessee about to be rattled off here. Memphis? From the English <laughs> teacher that thinks he's a geography teacher now. I thought Hensy might try to close the door on the 16s and take a shot, but he said, no, sir. I'm going to stay right here. 63360. Division two, folks. They're throwing us, yeah, six and a five, two, five, seven, five. 
Division 1B. Pigeon Forge, spot on for the first time. I love their shopping. Well, you seem like you're a Pigeon Forge attendee. Nope, never been there. Oh, man, you you would love it. That is like your type of vacation. No, we're going to do Branson this year. Me, the See? wife, and kiddo, we're going to be doing that one for sure. So picture Branson only interesting. Oh, you got only interest, forge. but brother. <laughs> calm down there, son. Branson is whoa. a Midwest gym. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot. You Missouri and Kansas people really love your uh, your Ozarks. I'm so sorry. Goodness gracious. I'm going to tell I that am to so, Ryan. I apologize. Ryan's going to be. That's all right. I can outrun Ryan. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna give you that old man trip before you get going. <laughs> Six mark by uh by Hensy. Puts him at 380 compared to Wee He's 254. Should be uh out in front when he gets the second uh, or gets another look here. We'll be out in front. All right, Hensy. Just going to close the 16s, try and see if he just goes 15s here, get rid of him. That was an attempt. I like that. We, we renamed the divisions, Division One and uh, Mount Olympus. <laughs> Another triple. Yes, sir. Put some head by 29. I'm so disappointed in you, Sean. <laughs> I like how you still haven't gotten over it yet. <laughs> You're, don't you ever disrespect I get it. Branson like it, that. How dare it's you? Like, it's, like, it's like you making fun of the Indy 500 or something. I get it. You know, that would. Gosh. TPC Sawgrass <laughs> is just decent. How about that, brother? Take that. That's fine. Win here for Tyler Hensey? No. An opportunity has arisen for Tyler Weehy. Yeah, and it's a good one, too, that he can't win this leg. I could have went double-double. No, nah, that would not have done it. I could have went double-double-double. <laughs> <laughs> well, then he still had the 17 at that point. That's one of those, that's one of those riot-isms there. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> All righty, 4-5-1. Four, 4-6-1, one. Four, my apologies. Uh, Brandon, we'll answer this again since it's been a few legs. Um, we do not have the viewpoint of Tyler Hensey. So, yeah, it, uh, it, is, it, is un it is unfortunate, but uh, it is one of those things where it's tougher to get camera packages out to all these places. And you got to remember, we got to rely on them for Internet as well. And, and there's other factors. I mean, sometimes those boards get moved around. We got to make sure they're plugged in every time. So. Yeah, well, it's also a working away. Look, this, as Sean uh, pointed out earlier, uh, this is the only time Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> we've actually had somebody um, that has only like where we've featured a match. This is the only second time this season where there's only been one camera perspective. Uh, it's just so rare nowadays. But before in the past, it was actually rare to find two cameras to have uh, for both players. Uh, so overall, I would say it's a good problem if this is something that only happens a handful of times a season. We're going in the many, right direction. How many packages have we had? What, 10 to 15 this season? Oh, this season alone, yeah, about 10, 10 packages, I would say, is uh, the number I would say. That's pretty good. That is <laughs> Thanks, pretty Sean. good. Big trip 18 there from Tyler Weehee. I can tell. Everybody, uh, <laughs> Nick in the background just informed me that uh, 
He said, from now on, he's just going to stop talking because he's getting annoying. And I said, yeah, we can tell. He said something like that. <laughs> exactly. There we go. In response, not, not Michael maybe Walters exactly in those chat words. saying, Will is the kind of guy who says, whoa, these are dangerous <laughs> after trying a snack. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now we're even. Uh, by the way, my my brother-in-law, while annoying, um, sometimes is funny. But for the most part, he just throws in one-liners. Like, he'll he'll call us just to throw in a joke, and then he won't even, like, wait for our response. He'll just hang up the phone on us. Uh, that's That's Michael Walters. So oh, try having my. that in your life, you know. I must really love his sister. Let's put it that way. This is a pretty good uh, moment here in this match here. Because Hensley could take the advantage and, and break throw here. And it's yep. looking more and more promising because Weehee has not found an open bed to work on. And he still doesn't have one. As he only finds a single 15 here. So all in the hands of, uh, or in the hand of Tyler Hensley. I'd ask for a double high five, but I I feel like it only requires a single. And I made a I made a rule with myself. I would not say one one thing tonight. I know, but I owed you one at least. For getting me on Monday night while the cameras were on us, and Tyler Hensley gets the job done. Five point eight three. Big, big leg of darts from Tyler Hensley, and uh, breaks the throw for the first time. Is this where the separation starts to occur? The only thing that's against Tyler Hensley of really taking control right now is the fact that. First of all, we, he's a solid dart player, so he's going to be in every leg. And secondly, um, Tyler will have to go second each leg that he wins. Oh, and is that a door opener for Hensley? We'll find out. The, what he we, he really needs to do is 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 hold throw right here and make this 3-3 and kind of yep. act like it was no big deal. But uh, Hensley's going to make it tough. There's this good six mark to start him off. Oh, look at this. Yeah, great answer. Would have liked that last one in there, but he'll take it. Yeah, it's, you can t tell they know where they're at in the bracket here. They're in a crucial moment to find out who's going to be in that uh, king seat uh, position uh, or that king seat match, I should say. Uh, so they're really fighting and clawing. You can see there's not much in between them point wise, and they're taking shots at the, at that uh, closed or that open number. I love it. No, uh, Mike, you're wrong there. Nick is the kind of person that's, that does not whisper anything. Um, he will say, he will say, I'm just going to sneak past you here. <laughs> hey, where are you from? And he'll just start talking to someone and ask them questions about well, their I life. I either um, say that it, or he'll generally be interested too. It's kind of impressive. I, I, I'll, I'll usually do what Sean just said, or sometimes I'll tell him about bowling and then I walk away as well. Whatever is easier to approach conversationally yes. speaking. He does also yeah. do a lot of awkward stuff. Yeah. Like at uh, TOC yep. last year yep. when we hop in the Uber and he goes, the guy goes, Hey, what's going on? What, what are you guys doing here? Oh, we got a bowling tournament. And just so it turns out the, the Uber driver's the car ride. avid bowler. Yep. And starts straight up calling him out. Really? I've never seen lanes in the, the expo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They've got oh, tons yeah. of them in there. They brought them in and everything. Don't believe a word he says, folks. Don't believe a word he says. I mean, and it was at the very beginning of a 20-minute car ride. So then we had to answer bowling questions for 20 minutes from the driver. And then he was like, oh, yeah, these two do the commentary and the production for it. They know everything there is to know about bowling. Uh, thanks a lot, Nick. Yeah, guy goes, uh, yeah, I had my first turkey when I was when I was nine. And Nick goes, funny turkey, that's my favorite meal. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to the match. Good, good seven from Hensley. Remember when he asked our weight 
waiter, what's the worst thing you've ever done? And the waiter actually answered the question. Man. <laughs> and like, it was a brutal answer. And again, yeah. And again, beginning of the meal, we have not, we have not had our appetizers yet. <laughs> Waiting this on the dude... teasers. And this guy is throwing in some, some very deep level conversation to someone he got the name of two seconds ago. Guys, this is just, it's a great performance we're seeing right now on this uh, on this board. 483, 483, but a terrible, terrible commentary job. Yeah, from oh, Nick. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Nick got this started. So the... And he still gets recognized at Waffle House. That's what yeah, I really want to know. The, the fact we're going to tell you here, folks, is just don't trust Nick. He'll put you in awkward situations. Oh, Allie, Allie, Allie it, it, yeah. it, it involves some hardcore paraphernalia. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Oh, it was, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I, Immediately we go, prepared. Whoa. Like, Yeah. <laughs> we were like, oh, no, he answered it. It was our response. It was not a, ha that's hilarious. It was, oh, no, our meal is ruined. Well. Early on, because this person's touching our food. Weehee for the win in this leg to go 3-3 three, three and tie us back up. Got him. Yes, Got him. sir. Jacob Armstrong, Lost Boys in the chat. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Nick did it. So Michael, it was a he. It. Yeah. So 3-3, three, three, who's going to go into our break with the advantage? Tyler. Which Tyler will it be? Tyler Hinsey, Tyler Weehee. Hensey 4-3, and like I said, uh, it's one of those situations now where if it stays close for a few legs after the break, Weehee might have the advantage. Well, we've got almost 700 folks joining us here this evening. Share this around. Let your friends know we're still uh, alive and kicking. We're going here on this Wednesday night. An opportunity for them to win a shot flight deck pack from uh, Shot Darts and A to Z Darts.com. So like and comment if you have not and get involved today. Get your opportunity in to win those bad boys. Hump day. All right, all right, all right. Tyler Henze. Gonna get control here. Little trip for Singh. Never hurt anybody. Well, he's trying to move on up to the 20s, but uh, he went west of him into the fives. Tanner, what's up from South Dakota? Opportunity for we. How about the most popular profile picture in the history of darts? Cheyenne Richards in the chat. How do you get how do you get four hundred and or six hundred and seventy some people that just like one picture? If you if you look closely, I have that many friends, but I don't have that many friends that are gonna hit that like button. Uh, uh, I'm just no offense to all my friends. All righty, so six six mark from Tyler Hinsey there. I'm just saying. I'm, it's not that I'm peanut butter and jelly. It's just. What does what oh, a guy have to do? Buddy, you're screaming <laughs> peanut butter and jelly right now. <laughs> Tyler Weehy on the 18th gets back into this thing a little bit. All right, Weehee, what do you fancy here? Two big trip 18s for the look at the 20s. 
He looks cooler than the other underside of a pillow right now. The way he's playing. <laughs> and look at Hensy go. He's got the 17s on lock. Yes, sir. Close him out and points on him. 334 plays 273. Ryan Jervis in the chat saying, let's go, Tyler Henze. We need to get a wave going on here. Virtual wave, folks. Get your get your emojis up. Get some virtual wave going on. We can get a real wave going on if this gentleman with his phone who's listening to us at Tyler Weehy's perspective gets up and gives us one. Come on, brother. <laughs> I know you're watching. I know you're listening. Get up. Give us a wave. Oh, well, you might not do it now. Boom goes the dynamite for Tyler Henze. That is timed perfectly. I love all the different wave emojis we're yep, getting yeah, too. It's, They're it's pretty good. <laughs> Keep them coming. Well, Tyler decided he did not want to hit a lot of bulls there. Said no thanks. But T Dubs does not hit any bowls either. Will he put it away here? Should be able to. Taking a second. There we go. Got some. Four point seven three there at the end of that one. And uh well. Henzi leads at the break four to three, buddy. We yeah. hinted at it potentially being a close one. It has become one. Uh, I, Advantage. Figured, I figured we'd be pretty tight and hit at this point. And uh, usually it's after the break where we kind of start finding that uh, deciding factor, maybe a couple leg break. We'll find out more here in just a second. It's three, nine marks for Tyler Henzi, one to Tyler Weehy. He's going to come out on top in this one, folks. We'll find out after these interviews. With uh, Nick DeShera and Tyler Weehy and Tyler Hensey. We'll be right back. Will Stewart, Sean Green, and that other guy. We'll be right back. My name is Tyler Hensey. I play for Midwest Coin Concepts, and I throw out of the Rustic Saloon. Well, Tyler Hensey, welcome back to the CSC Challenger Series. Excited to have you on our show once again. Uh, last time we saw you, you faced off against Johnny Lackey. Can you walk us through that match? I know Johnny. I, I've played him a couple times. I know how good he is. I knew that I needed to stay focused and not lose it. So I, I normally don't throw with earbuds a lot, but I have recently, and I figured that the earbuds are helping me stay focused. Uh, looking at the top four of the winner side, your run has been going incredibly well so far. You face off against Tyler Weehy tonight. Uh, did you expect your run to be going this well going into the season? Um, after after my first match against Hunter with a uh, 9-0 victory and averaging over the five, I knew I had it in me and I just, I kept pushing. And I didn't, I didn't think I'd make it top four, but as well i mean the averages say talk for themselves you know it's the highest in division two right now and it's it's feeling pretty good yeah it's funny that you mentioned that talking about averages here you're averaging a 5.06 so that's number one in division two but also would be number 14 out of 32 in division one which is incredible numbers that you're putting up um are you surprised by these numbers or were you kind of expecting a performance like this I am pretty surprised. I know league and tournaments are always different, but league I've been kind of slacking on the averages and but uh, I I know I can throw that good. I just know I don't have the consistency down to the max and but I yeah, I did kind of expect it, but I didn't expect it to be over a 5. 
and tonight you face off against the second highest average in division two and tyler Weehee, the battle of the tylers some are calling it uh what's gonna be your game plan to come out on top here you know just start strong and finish strong just hit the triples i need to hit and when i need to hit them anything you want to say to your friends fans family anybody else watching along um thank you everybody for the support uh, i appreciate it everybody um i'd like to thank my sponsor dead man darts for the apparel and supplies that i need to throw darts well we're excited to have tyler henzi once again grace our live stream here is this is exciting affairs and really dramatic come up in division two who's going to come out on top tyler we wish you nothing but the best of luck in your match i'm han solo and you're watching the csc challenger series I dubbed today St. Hattrick's Day. Let's see how many hattricks I can get in less than 90 seconds with the new Dart World range. Let's go. Starting with the regulator, dressed in the Irish and a few beers, fit flight shape. Now the Phoenix darts in the fit flight slim. Hattrick, go quick. What's up next? We've got... The Anthem darts. I'll be Irish in a few beers, L style shape. Then Piranha Razor 02, L style slim. Oh. Stupid bounce hats. Finally, we have Challenger with Target K Flex. Oh, and Liberty, 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 Liberty. Get in there! I'm Tyler Weehee. Uh, I've been playing out of Bill's Pub in St. Joseph, Missouri for Acme Music and Vending. Well, Tyler, we welcome back to the CSE Challenger Series. Great to have you on our show once again. Last time we saw you, you faced off against Florida Zone, Austin Braswell. Uh, can you talk us through that match? I kind of got down early a little bit in that match, and uh, I was able to, to work myself back in it. Austin shot great. Austin's a great opponent. But uh, I was able to uh, come back and, and steal the win there. Right now, you're run. You're currently in the top four. Uh, on the winner side of division two. Uh, that's already an impressive run given how tough this bracket is, but was that your expectation when you were going into the season? Uh, I kind of came in open-minded, um, being my, my first year in the CSC. Um, I'm glad my run is going this way. Uh, I hope to keep continuing on on the winner side, um, but no, I, I didn't expect to, for it to go this well. And tonight, you're facing off against Tyler Henze, a gentleman that a lot of people have their eyes on as a front runner, as both of you guys are the two front runners in average in Division uh, 2 right now, and both of you guys are throwing electric darts. What's going to be your game plan to get through this match? I think mainly my game plan is just going to be play my game, uh, my speed, and uh, just put it all out there and, and see if we can get the win. And from when you were invited to this season of the CSC uh, till now, you went from averaging a 4.63 to now a 4.91 in this period of time. Um, why do you think that is? Playing tough opponents uh, week after week, um, play a lot of no cap leagues and, and exposed to a lot of great shooters. And when this interview plays during the break, during this match, what's going to be the scoreline while this is playing? I'm hoping to be up 4-3 at least uh, by the break, but we'll see how it goes. Anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, or anybody else watching along? Uh, appreciate all the all the messages, all the, all the good luck uh, coming my way from my friends and family. Well, Tyler, we're excited to see the Battle of the Tylers. It's uh, honestly the most exciting thing right now. Everyone's talking about it. We're in the middle of it. We're excited to be getting back into the action. So all we can do is wish you nothing but the best of luck in your match. I'm Tyler Weehy, and you're watching the CSC Challenger Series.
It's been a battle so far, ladies and gentlemen, here on the CSC Challenger Series, brought to you by Partners Promoting Darts. This Division II matchup between Tyler Weehy and Tyler Hensey. So far, Tyler Hensey has the 4-3 advantage, but really been just back and forth the whole way. Um, maybe, I'll say it, maybe there's been some legs where they haven't really performed as well as we thought they may be. I think both players are, haven't performed as well as we think they can. But uh, I think there's a little bit of pressure in this match on both players. Would you agree, Sean? Well, I mean, absolutely. It, this is the biggest match for both of these players at this point in time. Um, winning this is guaranteeing you $1,000, at least. If you lose this, you might only walk away with $400, which sounds amazing, until you compare it to $1,000. And then it seems awful. So uh, they also know how difficult the loser side of this bracket is. And uh, I can tell you right now, no one wants to see anyone else that's left in this in this tournament on the loser side. So you're absolutely right. There's a lot of pressure on both these guys. Um, one and two in the averages, and they're expected to perform, right? We we put that expectation out there. And it's just, you I mean, know, I think they're not throwing bad at all, to say the least. But it's it's definitely just more... Um, they're, they're typical darts that we're seeing and a lot of seven marks and a lot of seven marks can, uh, can kill and kill it. And if it's close, that's all that matters. Yeah. And I think admittedly, we put a little bit of pressure on this match and I think some friends, family have done that same thing. So, you know, we'll see, they've got kind of the, uh, initial nerves out of the block, but, uh, we're pretty close on averages, a 4.68 for Tyler Hensey, a 4.61 for Tyler Weehy, but like, well, like we mentioned, uh, their current overall averages for the uh, for the uh, session or for the season is 5.06 for Tyler and Tyler or uh, Tyler Hensey, and then Tyler Weehy is a 4.84, so a little bit below their overall average. Exactly. Say that again, uh, Nick. All right, wow. so Brandon Brandon Neal five to one over Johnny Lackey right now, and it looks like we've got a five to three, no five to four, uh, Nick Yeast over Josh Cressini. and Hensey's going for the big number as he throws in a nine mark for us. Boom goes the dynamite. Hensy, Rick, don't Rick, do, gosh, don't do it. it. You can't do it. It's his dad that really pushes yep. Sean to say what he does. I'm telling you, as Rick says, looks like an unfair advantage. One of these Tyler's is not like the other. <laughs> it's only a disadvantage if both of them have to shoot with their left hand. Well, sorry, no, just... if one of them has to shoot with their left hand and the other one with their left nub. Bum, 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 bum. But since they both get to shoot with their right hand, it is fair. All right. Can be. <laughs> 15s is the look for Weehee. Would love another triple. Gets another triple. Nice seven mark there for him, but not enough to give him the advantage. You can see a uh, two mark lead for Hensy. And I think he's going to take his chances here on the 15s. Yeah, he took him there on the second dart and stayed there for the last darts. Good shot it's a gutsy, from Tyler. Gutsy play. Winning darts, though. Giving winning darts to Tyler Weehy. Double-double. Ooh, he tried for the trip first. All right, four to three. And Henze had been struggling with the bowls up to that point, but he gets it done. 5.14. And he separates a little bit. Five to three lead now for the 19-year-old. Paul, yeah, we were hoping that people noticed the the Nick Giff in the background of, uh, of Han Solo's interview. Uh, that is all produced by Nick, by the way. We don't give him ideas on that one. He just does it. Yep. So uh, 
all uh, inquiries, go ahead and fill those out to Nick DeShera. Yeah, my phone number is 407 Jenna, Jenna, who can I third to? I'm oh, sorry. Well, this is Division Two. You are correct. Although this season we kind of call this Division One B. Pretty much. I mean, it's so tight knit. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I said that Tyler uh, Hensey's average would weigh pretty well in Division One. I. Uh, I don't believe I mentioned this. So currently, if he was in Division One, he'd be 14th overall ranked in Division yep. One with that 5.06. And you're thinking 14th. Wow, that's actually like middle of the pack. Yeah, that's just how good we have uh, our player pool here in the uh, Partners Promoting Darts CSE Challenger Series. So. Um, it's interesting to see that number. Yeah, uh, Nick, I'll take it. Um, if you would have watched the interviews, <laughs> you would have seen that Nick actually asked him specifically about being 14th overall um, in the average and, and his expectations with that. And it's um, it's interesting perspective that he gives on it because he expected it, but not to be over a five. Um, so... Love it. Yeah, good answer. Subtle call out job to question mark. Sean. Oh, it was, it was it was less than subtle. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. But, but yeah. that being said, yeah. we cannot see the interviews. We can't hear them as they're playing for you live. So, um, if we could have, we would obviously have that information available to us. The interviews were sent a little bit late tonight too. To us, so, I get it. Will. Guys, I want you to know that every week for the last two and a half years that I've known Will Stewart, since about, I don't know, week three of season one, my whole goal has either been to make him cry from laughing or to give me uh, the number one, the year number one sign. And um, man, I'm I'm just reaching those goals every single week. <laughs> oh, well, we, he's Big putting on a display nine. here. Look at him go. Tyler Wahi, Tyler Waho. Okay, stop. With the nine mark. Never do that again, Sean. How about back to back nines? Boom goes the dynamite for both players. Oh, my goodness. I'm... I can't believe you just did that. It was great, right? That was absolutely terrible. You know it was good. No, that really wasn't. I'm going to look back on it and see if it was good or not. <laughs> Why aren't you talking anymore? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what to say after that. You flabbergasted? I really am. The voice is so atrocious. I have been told gonna, I'm the songbird of my generation. You're not. I can tell you that right now. Is we he takes the advantage here. He's gonna try to gather and put another leg on the board. Make this five to four. Everyone's keeping up, telling us to keep our day jobs, and it's when we sing, and I get that. But like, do people really think that like singing is our night job? I know you like to fancy the karaoke bar I heard, so. Only to sing the Fox song. Yeah, the What Does the Fox Say? I'm actually pretty good at uh, karaoke that song. Help us all. Help us all. All right, Hensy, it goes back into his hands here. <laughs> Thanks, John. Starts us off with a big seven mark. Good start. Yep, five four score line, and this is about. I don't know. Tyler still got the advantage here, being Henzy. We he has to break his throw once to send us to a last leg decider potential. It is only one break of throw needed though. 
But uh, Henzi trying to make that not still, very likely. Yeah, still that one break can be the overall factor in this match. I mean, the way this is kind of tuning up to be here, we'll find uh, out. Big triple. I know Tyler Henzi is 19. Tyler Weehy. Good question. Can't be 30. Maybe mid 20s, upper upper 20s. He could be 31, 32. Could be 40. We're just speculating anyway. Might as well just make yeah. up numbers. He could yeah. be 185. He could be a vampire. He's 29, apparently. Benton Uwebe. Yep. Good stuff. Fairly, fairly young in his dark game. Still. That'll Boom work goes for a nine. Dynamite for Tyler Weehy. Back to back legs with a nine mark now. Man, the things that he can do with only one hand. I have two, and I can't do any anything near as good as he can do dart wise. It's unfair. We'll go back into over to Hensy here. Yeah, just close them out. Has the advantage with the uh, 18s open for punishment. I'm thinking about being naughty here, but I'm not going to. You're welcome. Yeah, Hensy will attack right away on the 17s. And you see, even three singles he'll be satisfied with because it just gets rid of the door and keeps him going. It'll force Weehe over to the 16s or 15s. He's kind of been fancy in the 15s a little bit, but I think he only makes that move when he feels he's, he's 18? blocked. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah, that was the only thing that made sense after the second dart, and I loved it. Man, it's so good. It looks like there's an earthquake in Kansas. You're jiggling your leg, aren't you? Yeah, I did there for a second. Sorry. <laughs> that was fun bouncing, bouncing around, I'm sure. Oh, okay, my so gosh. What it, oh, Three in the bed on the twos. That is very unfortunate. We take advantage now because this chance doesn't come often to make this 5-5 five, five here, folks. Points. Points, points, points. Burley. And opportunity is not quite there for Tyler, but he's he can make, he can ask, tell Weehy to, to answer a question here. Not going to. And it looks it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. This is that break of throw. Yeah, that right at it. You know, fives, that three seven five is just tough to beat. That five five zero, oh, it's just smooth. Yeah, exactly. Chances are you're gonna be a tough position. So that ties us back up here in this race to nine. He gets back to back legs and the break of throw. And he going to get the start here in this next one, though. And only starts off with a four. All right, I'm going to ask you right here. Who do you think has the advantage from here on out? I'm... You need four legs Hensie, for the win. Yeah, Hensy's still going first. Um, so he'll be the first to eight if it holds throw all the way through. And if it goes to a last leg decider, 
it will favor Weehee. If it doesn't, it's because Henzi won before that. I don't know. We're approaching those territories right now where um, this is the most legs that Tyler's had thrown on him so far. And uh, he went uh, 9 0, 9 4, 9 3 compared yep. to Weehee, who went 9 6, 9 7, 9 6. So Weehee is more prone for this position right now. And if you can. If you can say that, I know that Tyler Hensley's probably found himself in in situations where he's tied up with a with a few legs to go, but not not really much in this race to nine, where you still need no, he, four legs to to win the match. But I also believe that he is going to come into this match tonight knowing the average that Tyler Weehee can throw, and knowing that he was going to be in for a bit of a dog battle or dog fight more so than he had so far in the. In division two, um, well, he's got, but he's got, he, can he handle it? That's the, yeah, that's the reverse side of it. He knows he's throwing a bit off. You can tell there's a little frustration on that game screen from Tyler Hensey. Go ahead and close the door. Yep. On to the Just next move on one. Over. Yep. Coffin shot. Coffin shot. Yes, sir. Oh, that's Mr. Ryan Mooneyham. Big seven. Big seven there from Hensey. Looking promising for the leg. Looking almost uh, assured of grabbing the leg for the six to five advantage. Once again, folks, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Like and follow if you have not. Lots of quality content coming your way via USA Darts and Partners Promoting Darts. And if you leave a comment in our chat, you'll be entered automatically into our live stream giveaway brought to you by A to Z Darts.com. Tonight's raffle winner will receive a shot flight deck in the uh, with in the color white. You can choose from short, in between, or medium length options for your prize. I wanted to try and say that in a different way, and then it never materialized in my head so and materialized Ooh. came out weird uh just click the banner on their website whatever couple couple mentionables for you folks uh april 20th is going to be all-star triples may 20 or may 18th the same all-star triples as well so a couple events coming for ppd that you can be involved in if you're not involved in the csc challenger series uh sign up for those you never know who we're gonna pop in and see on the uh, live stream so Definitely uh, check that one out. Get Speaking signed that, up. Will, do you want to know how to become eligible to play in major PPT events like the CSC Challenger Series? Well, Why I do guess. I? Oh my well, goodness. players become eligible for those by playing in PPT leagues or daily remote tournaments, which are DRTs. Leagues are starting daily, so get involved by going to dartstoc.com and checking out the map. That map will show any location with G3 boards within the PPD system. And if you're not seeing anything in your area, just have your vendor contact them on the website. From there, you can sign up for leagues on the website. Doesn't take a ridiculous amount of games to be eligible either. Consistently playing one league a week will keep a player eligible for this event in the future. Again, just go to dartstoc.com to get signed up today. And boom goes the dynamite, Tyler Wee. Yeah, what a time to hit it. Good shot there from Weehee. So we did, of course, have a couple mentionables uh, or a couple comments, and uh, one was the triples events at TOC. So instead of NDA, it's TOC, <laughs> Jeremy. Um, so we'll go ahead and mention this one. If you were anticipating doubles or doing something else, we understand that one. There's going to be DRTs and some blind draws and stuff that are available for you. If you find yourself out of the triples event or if you're just in the area and want to participate, you can do that. So – Reminder I, of that one. There you go. I will, I will say Jeremy's comment was talking about how All Star trips overlaps with NDA, not the trips at TOC. To to oh, clarify oh. there. Oh, dear <laughs> NDA. Okay, well that's just because it happens. Same thing. Same thing for you don't need to Sorry, that one. I read that wrong. I read that wrong. But I wanted to that's... give a give a little reminder there for that one at TOC. But yeah, so. Jeremy, let's bring up that bag of marbles for no reason now. I did. 
uh, there's three. <laughs> they do it every third of the month. So if it falls as it lies, same with Whammo. They do it every third of the month. So if you're not able to participate and you're at Whammo or NDA, so be it. It's open for other people, and maybe they can cash in on some money. And it is what it is. You got to kind of choose and pick what you want to do. It's going to be the dart world here soon, I tell you. My, I just said it. <laughs> Literally just said it. You've been here before. You know the drill. All right. Just uh, go to YouTube and just like go back like a minute and a half to two minutes. There Actually, no, Will's spiel was longer than that because it was weird. Uh, go back like three or four minutes and then you'll find it. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Next week, it'll just be Nick and Sean on the call. Just so you folks know, we he opportunity oh. to close out the 16s. He's got a point first, though. Guys, if you're really that upset about triples, just remember our live stream crew is a is a trips team every single time we we're on the show <laughs> and we're awesome and we love it we have one so of us that talks for days we have one of us that makes fun of the other person for days and then we have the person behind the scenes who just messes up for days it's wonderful and also is the creative one he's like the go team hurrah guy you know who throws a little bit worse than the rest of them but you know, he's a good player to have on the team because he's going to keep the morale up for the grumpy people like, like Will and I. I'm telling you. Good save. Good save. Good trips save. isn't that bad. Is he trying to make a stand here? Another triple 16. Yes, sir. Nine mark on the board for Tyler Hensey. Boom goes the dynamite. And that's actually Three. the second one we've seen in that leg. Uh, third in this leg. Third in this leg. I knew that. And I only said it this first time, but, you know, you guys didn't really want it every time, right? Bradley, I hope that you are a soprano in an opera with the way you're commenting on our singing abilities. <laughs> Jeremy also asking, uh, so what will we be streaming? We'll be streaming everything. Don't worry, bud. NDA and PPD <laughs> trip will be yeah, happening. Yeah. Yep. Everything's going to be streamed. Okay. I'll, I'll clarify oh. platforms. <laughs> PPD will be nationals, of course, and or the, the Ulster Triple, sorry. And then uh, USC Darts will be dedicated for NBA. So there you go. And just hit the follow button on all those, and then you'll get notified every time. Enzy oh. with a hat trick. He's he's trying here. He's trying yeah. to make this seven to five, but we he just needs to gather some points. Keep doing his job. Yep, close the door. Yep, that'll do it. He's gonna stay there for more points. That makes more sense. Exactly. Yep. Now Tyler needs at least four to get back that point lead. And that one's not going to happen. Well, this is a gritty leg and gets it. Good win from Tyler Weehy. All right, six to six, buddy. Yeah, this is this is tight knit, isn't it? And I, I knew it was going to be pretty close, but figured we'd have a two leg differential at this point. We, I mean, we did have it for a slight, slight moment, but uh, I figured we'd probably be at a point where one person has the advantage, and uh, not at a tied game. <clears throat> I mean, you think about it, man. It's a six-six score line. There's only two letters in their names that are different. I mean, they couldn't be closer. Wow! Look at that shot from Weehee right off the bat. Takes a shot at the twenties. Gets rid of the high ground. And uh, 
let's do this now because we're going to forget about this later on when it gets closer, even closer than it is right now. Seven mark from Tyler Henze. But don't forget that there are only a few days left to take advantage of the March Dart of the Month and enter the special A to Z Darts raffle. All customers that buy a set of Target Hema Darts will automatically be entered into a special raffle to win a set of Target Bull Eyed Void Darts. The raffle ends April 1st. That's no joke. And the winner will get their choice of soft tip 18 grams or steel tip 22 grams. Best of luck to all that enter into that. And then show your appreciation this Women's History Month by shopping A to Z Darts collection of women in darts. There are also two new launches. Boom goes the dynamite to browse for all new dart designs, including the Stow Bunts version 2 darts, the Shot AI launch, and the Dart World launch. If you're planning on attending the U.S. Darts Masters like Will and I, and maybe Nick, if he just decides to, to show up this year in New York, read the new A to Z travel guide with tips on how to plan for your trip. Just click the banners on their website. 667, 6.0 in this leg, bud. And the... This might be one of the quickest legs we've ever seen. Or... Or... One of the most devastating legs we've seen. Big moment. Where was that first start? Okay. See if he closes the 15s. Yep. Just in case. There's a slight outside chance here, but you never know. Tyler Henze. Yeah, beats him with a 5.14 compared to Weehee's 5.25. Really tight knit leg there, but quick leg. Tell you what, Sean, these these averages have gotten really, really close here with these two guys. Talk me through them, Bob. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it, it, it doesn't get any closer. So after uh, 13 legs added up all their NPRs, we got a 61.43 for Hensy. So divide that by 13. That's going to be 4.73 okay. for Tyler Hensy. And for uh, Mr. Weehee, that's a 61.15 divided by 13. And that's a 4.7. Oh, so 0 0.03. Yes, sir. 4.73, 4.70. So and those would both only currently be beat by Brett Hollanday in Division Two. Uh, so uh, it seems lower for them, yes. but it's still one of the highest averages in Division Two. It is exactly. seven to six. Tyler Henze over Tyler Weehee. If you're looking at the score screen when it switches, uh, Weehee did win the diddle to start off, so it will say seven seven on that. But it is seven to six. Our score line there is going to be the correct one. Yeah, you do have to factor in that one. Big moments here in this match. We're going to make this a best of five. Or sorry, a best of three. My apologies. It seems, seems more and more likely that that's going to happen, but you just never know. Well, there you go. Yes. Boom goes the dynamite from Tyler Henze. That's a big dart for for Hensy right there. Yeah, Gabriel asking uh, why that dude uh, keep throwing four darts. He doesn't wait for the time to start his turn. So I think he's talking to guys he in regards to Tyler Weehy, who yeah, he does have a phantom dart. So he doesn't really throw a dart. He just kind of ghost throws one. Just kind of get his back to back. 
get a little rhythm going. Back to back nines from Henzie. And this is what we start talking about with the, the firepower that he can bring. And man, what a time this would be for him to throw his best leg of darts. We, what an advantage it would bring. And yeah, we, he knows no matter what he does there, yep. he's still going to find himself behind good seven mark, but yeah, you can tell clearly not enough. You need an extra dart in his hand there. And Hensy will take swift advantage down to the 17s over the 16s. Trying to hand him a break of throw. But we, he's going to look at the 16s here and see if he can battle back in. Just like Tyler did with back to back nines earlier in this leg, we, he can do the same thing. Two darts to close. Yes, sir. Nick Yeast beats Josh Crescini to advance into the next round. Nine there you six go. score line a, there. A little bit of an upset. A lot of people had uh, Josh going for the uh, finals berth. Potentially, yeah, we saw but, that a couple uh, times. Technically, Nick had a point zero two advantage coming into the. The match of 4.65 to a 4.63, which Josh Cressini was one of three players uh, that had a 4.63 average. And there are six players that have a 4.62 or a 4.63 average. Six different players. Their averages are a 4.63 or a 4.62. That's crazy. <laughs> Henzi for the win here in this leg. It put him one leg away from a berth. That's a in big the one. King seat match. That that might be that might be the leg. Because we he will go first here in this one, but Tyler Henzi will throw for the match in leg number sixteen. He gets a start and starts off with a big triple. How about another? How about one more? We get seven. Jake Smith, Cooper Olsen tied at eight right now. Whew. Dog fights going on. That's a pressure filled leg, too, knowing if you're if you win, you're still in. If you lose that leg, you're out. Tough stuff. Probably got multiple people watching you at each location. They've been backing you week after week. Adds a little extra, extra. 6-6 six, six right now, Brandon Neal and Johnny Lackey. So that one's come back to, to even. Johnny Lackey. Making a run. Uh, Keith, we liked it. We like it a lot um, with our triples formats. That's great because more people is is always more fun uh, to talk about different people. And it's just it, it's cool to see some doubles and, and some triples in there. Uh, but yeah. we really like it a lot. You had a laugh fest last night, I thought. What that do you mean? Pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. you just had a laugh oh, they fest. Were, good. Oh, they were. They were great. Yeah. How about that move from Tyler Hensey? He goes ahead and close the door on the 20s, 171 to two, uh, 200 here, and forces Weehee into the 18s. Do you go back or do you take a look here, Weehee? Yeah, he goes back. Kind of put himself in a little predicament there. I think that's what Hensey was eyeballing. He said, I'm going to put this guy in a little tight situation, find out how he uh, works his way out of it. Yeah, I mean – he then this is what he doesn't have any pressure right now. All the pressure's on Weehee. 
So it's just trying to add a little bit more. And with a higher ground, he can do that. And you couldn't see it there, but that first start went at the at the nineteens, and he goes back to the nineteens on dart three. Yeah. At this point, he's going to use those uh, force and eight mark points. Yeah, points to his advantage. Really, is what he's thinking here. Especially needing just one leg. Why not? Yep. Great darts here from Weehee. Oh. But he does close the 19s, which honestly is not, not bad in the grand scheme of this. And Tyler's going to have to waste all three darts at the 18s. Okay. Well. It's a brand new ball game now. Yeah, it really is. We he what he fancy now. In 17s, he's been able to capitalize here. There it is. Another one for points. Got it. Great shot. Now, Hensy. Horses a, a six on the 16s for him. Yeah, it forces his hand to go to the 16s. And now we he can uh, do it every once, really. Got the got the uh, advantage here. Back to the seventeens. I don't even think that he liked shooting that shot on dart two. He really he didn't. Immediately he, afterwards, he, he 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 knew he wanted to take the shot, but he should have stayed down there for a little bit more points. He's got the triple and then made the move. As because uh, of this, Hensy's gonna make him pay. Oh. 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 He was staying. Yeah, he was staying. On the, you saw the single seven register, so obviously he didn't move there. I'm surprised, honestly. I figured he was all moving there and closing the door. Usually he would. But like I mentioned earlier in the leg, it, it points is your, is your friend here. That wire is going to be killer for Tyler Luigi. Oh, ends up. my goodness. That wire. That could be the factor in this match here. Got to go back to points here. I mean, the 15s are fine, but it doesn't do the same thing as getting points. Yeah, 16s. Yeah, big dart. 60-point lead. Which means a 7 mark at least from Tyler Weehee. That'll tie it up. Doesn't do that. You can see the body language shifting a little bit for Weehee. Yeah, now it definitely should. I'm surprised he shot that last start of the 16. He needed the triple for that to hurt, and it does. Yep. Looks like the 19 year old just gonna pull away at the end. It looks like it. He'll put himself into that uh, position to play for the king seat. Against Mike potentially, Scarborough. Potentially guarantee himself a spot. And Han Solo. The win. Gets it done. Tyler Henze, the 19 year old, will be in the king seat of Division Two of the CSC Chowder Series. Tyler Weehee will move to the loser side where, honestly, he put up a great test, a great battle against Henzi. Just a couple wires at inopportune times, a couple big nine marks from Tyler Henzi uh, to make it eight to six, I think, was was huge. It, it really was. It, it really was. So, uh, overall, we're going to find out here what he averaged for the evening. Um you know, a little bit off from his, from where he normally is, but a 4.76 overall for Tyler Henze is not bad. So uh, not nope. bad at all. It's still going to lead the way um, here in Division Division 2. So 
good stuff for him, and he'll advance. Like you said, Mike Scarborough will be his next test, and then uh, Tyler Weehy will go to that loser side. But still fighting and clawing could end up in the uh, in the finals. You never know how this one will play out. You do not, and that's the beauty of this uh, of this whole format. So, um, that I can't wait for that King seat match. I think that's going to be a an absolute barn burner. I know Scarborough's average has a four six one. That's not real. Um, he can shoot well over a five whenever you. I'm he sure. Can. Yeah, he's he has that firepower in him for sure. Um, so that's going to be a, a test, and I think Henzi's Henzi's going to know that going into it. That I, one's I think. Be. I think this match potentially could have been really good for Tyler Henzi because he knows he's had a battle now. Uh, yep. He's had a really test, and and maybe he didn't perform as well as he thought he would. So. This is going to be a good one. He's going to take home, and, and I guarantee you we're going to see an all-time duel between Mike Scarborough and Tyler Henze. Yeah, I can't wait, man. And for Tyler Weehy, uh, I can guarantee you Henze does not want to see him again um, come through the loser side of the bracket, and I don't think there's too many people that are going to be excited to have Tyler Weehy on the loser side of the bracket. Well, how about this? You said 9-5. I said 9-7. It was 9-6. Uh, right. Nine marks? We said 14 and a half. 14 yep. was the number, so pretty good stuff there, folks. I'd say we kind of hit that nail on the head. <laughs> yep, for sure. There you go. There you go. We you got to appreciate- hand it to you, bud. Great job. <laughs> we appreciate you being here, folks. Once again, William Stewart, Sean Green, Nick DeShera. We'll see you Monday night for some more action here as we get Jules Van Nongen taking on Steve Hilger, a.k.a. Porky, on Monday night, 8 p.m. Central Time. Join us. Have a great night, guys.